links to the products used in this video will be down below. We're just going to start off by dusting the PC as you should. Then we're going to add our 16 gigabytes of T-Force Vulcan Z 3200 speed RAM. Pretty simple to install the RAM, you just want to push open the little tabs. Line it up. And then push it down with some force until it clicks. So we do the other one. You just want to make sure it's lined up. So you want to push it down with some force until it clicks. Next we're going to be installing a Thermaltake Pure Plus 14. This is a 3 pack of 140mm RGB fans. This PC comes with one intake fan and one exhaust fan. We're going to replace the two intake fans and we're going to put one exhaust fan on the top. So once you unscrew the fan mount, you want to unplug the fan. You might need to cut away some cable ties. So you have it free and now you can unscrew the old fan. And now we can screw in the new fan. Make sure it's facing the right direction. So I'm pretty sure I screwed it in the wrong direction in this clip and I had to go, go back and flip it. I'm going to mount the second one. So now to put it back, you just feed the cables through. This thing does sit kind of at an angle. It should look something like that. All right, now for the top fan, you feed the cable through, line up the holes, and then you mount it. So this one, the top fan is supposed to be the exhaust fan because this PC already has a back exhaust fan that's 120 millimeters. So we're going to be adding a 140 millimeter exhaust fan. So this should hopefully lower temperatures, but we'll see in the benchmarks later in the video. Once that's done, the back of your PC should look something like this. Just three cables hanging out in the back. All right, now we're going to install the cable mod extension cords. So this is like the cheapest pack I found on Amazon. It's just white extension cables. So unplug the graphics card and make sure you have the right cables. Now plug them in. Maybe have your girlfriend put some cable combs on them. Alright, now you can start feeding them through and plugging them in. You might need to move around the cable combs to make it look nice, but we don't want to worry too much about it right now. We can always do that later. Just plug the other one in. But like I said, we'll mess with them later. All right, now with the motherboard cable. And I just wanna unplug this one. There's a little tab you need to push and then you can wiggle it free. I see how there's two sides to it. You wanna plug it into the right side. Push that into the back and plug it in. Something like that. All right, now it looks something like this. You know, you got your cables and your fans. Now we're gonna install a little controller it came with. It says one, two, three. I'm gonna do the front ones as one and two, and then the top one is three. All right, so then this one is two. And then three. So now it looks kind of like this. So now that I velcroed it to a good spot, make sure the cables reach. I'm gonna do some cable management real quick. And I'm gonna use the same little ties that the cables came packaged with. You can see I did install an additional SSD. I might make a video of installing another one. Probably one of the first things you wanna do with this PC, just to add some storage. All right, now we got them all plugged in like that. Make sure the little switches are right. So one, two, and three are all on. So now I did have to go into the bag that came with the PC and my power supply cables. And I had to find one that fit. 
So once you have this power cable, one end will look like this and one will look like this. So this one goes back there into the power supply and then the other end goes into one of the cables that comes with your fans and then into your fan. Now I did run into a problem here. I had to unplug the Wi-Fi card because it was taking up the only USB header that fit the one that came with this fan. So I plugged that and then I plugged in the fan and I fed the cable through. Doing a little bit of cable management. Now it looks something like this. So you have it all plugged in and the inside looks something like this. This is where you want to maybe fix up the cables, make it look good. Put on the glass panel. Turn it on. I did do some cable management when I did this. So now my setup looks a little bit better. Yeah, and that's it. This is what the whole setup looks like now. Now we're going to see if it made a difference in the FPS and cooling. So we're going to compare some benchmarks I did before and after I installed the fans. So remember, this computer had one intake fan, one exhaust fan. And they were both 120 millimeter fans. So now we have two 140 millimeter intake fans and one 140 millimeter exhaust fan and one 120 millimeter exhaust fan. So we should see a drop in temperature and maybe even a bit more FPS because we did install some more RAM. So now we're working with 32 gigabytes of 3200 DDR4 RAM. So we might even see some more FPS. And that's pretty much it. You can keep watching for the rest of the benchmarks, but make sure you subscribe so you can keep seeing videos about this PC. and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done here. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Gas is closing in, relocating the safe zone.
Closing in. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Four located the biohazard container. Five second of container location unknown. Find the biohazard container. Biohazard container located. Hostile out. Ready to neutralize. Op 4 eliminated. 